Hi Dan here, Scooter in Magazine. Right, today we're going to take a look at the clutch on the Targa Twin. Um, if you've been following the series, you'll know that I recently swapped from a Clubman style exhaust to the uh, two into one expansion chamber exhaust. Obviously, with that came a predictable increase in power. Um, however, that also means that the clutch which was in there, which has a very, very soft set of springs in, um, isn't now quite handling that power. Um, I'm just detecting a small amount of slip at this stage. I can tell from the clutch action, it has got incredibly soft springs in. It's the uh, six plate, 10 spring clutch. So I'm just gonna bring that in here, get the bench set up, take the side casing off and have a look and see what springs are in there and then see, um, I've got another set of springs which came with the engine. There's no labeling on the bag and I'm presuming that they are gonna be firmer springs, but until I get the old ones out um, and measure those and measure the ones that could prospectively go in, I won't really know. So the only way to do it now is to strip the engine down, compare the two springs and fit the heavier set. Right, let's have a look. Right, so that's the benches set up, the scooter on. Now I need to get the side panel off, get the exhaust off and split the casing and see what's going on with the clutch springs. Um, thankfully, after I rebuilt it with the new exhaust on, I never bothered putting this rear footboard on because I couldn't be bothered. And uh, so that isn't, uh, you know, that doesn't need taking off. So it's just one step closer. Um, interestingly though, you'll also know if you've been following the series, I've had nothing but problems with these two Delato carbs leaking fuel. They've both had new floats put in, and yet I've just noticed, as I've pulled this onto the bench, it's now leaking fuel out the left-hand side. Uh, I don't know when that started, um, but I'll have to take a look at that carb as well now. So what I might do in another video, whilst I'm doing that, is I might do a separate video on Delorto strip downs, just to help people, beginners and whatnot, going through the parts, just to identify components and see about setting them up. But uh, for now, let's have a look at the clutch. <laughs> we have enough problems to deal with one of uh, and we'll see what's going on with the clutch. Let's get stuck in. Now we've got the clutch out and hopefully this is going to make my job a whole lot easier because um, these springs, I don't know if you can see that or not, but um, they're colour coded. <laughs> so these ones are green. Uh, well, it's, it's, it's a normal colour spring with a green stripe on it. Whereas the ones that I've got in another packet uh, have got a yellow stripe on. So. I've not stripped one of these particular brands of clutch before, so I have absolutely no idea what the colour reference is, but it isn't going to be difficult to find out. I'll either have a look on the Camlam website or um, email Tino or just go on the Targa owners group on Facebook and just ask. Um, I'm presuming that these yellow striped ones are just a little bit um, more heavy duty. Um, I've also got the vernier calipers, so I'll measure the thickness of the springs, but visually these ones with the yellow stripe already look thicker anyway. So I think I'm onto a winner here. So I'm going to I'm going to measure these and bang them in anyway. Um, but um, I'll I'll just confirm it on the Facebook group now quickly, um, and hopefully somebody will have an answer by the time I've had a brew and um, and come back to bang them back in. So right, I'll go make a brew. Put, make a post on the Targa group and then um, hopefully somebody will give me an answer um, and I'll get these banged in and away we go. Right, well that was easy enough. Um, had a quick look online and there's a couple of websites selling these springs um, for these clutch kits and they actually explain the uh, difference between the colour codings. Um, I've also measured uh, these springs. The green ones are 1.6 mil thick and the yellow ones are 1.8 mil thick. So with identical numbers of coils and overall spring length, I see no reason as to why I shouldn't get a better result with these yellow ones. I have also made a post on the Tiger group um, and I'll keep an eye on my phone as I'm building this back up in case I get any contradictory information as I go along. But otherwise I'm fully expecting these yellow ones to, um, to do the job a bit better. So finish my brew and then get these slammed in. <laughs> Thank you. 
Right, that's everything put back together. Um, I've just got to do a couple of springs, put some oil in the gearbox, and then it would have been ready to take out for a test ride, um, had the other carb not started leaking. So I may as well do the carb strip video on the other side now, whilst I've got this on the bench and figure out what the problem is with that. But then once that's solved, we'll get it out for a test ride. Um, having said that, I can tell straight away, just when I was using the clutch compressor tool, that it needed a firmer action to put those clutch springs back together. So I, I, I'm pretty confident that they've done what I need them to do. So I'll get this all finished off now, do the carb strip video, and then we'll get out for a test ride. Okay, see you on the next video.